start off here in the entryway I have this beautiful wreath from Kirkland's last year and these gorgeous wind chime ornament bells that my husband got me for Christmas or I'm sorry for my birthday several years ago from a local boutique and then this is completely staged by the way this is usually full of coats and vests and everything but I kind of prettied it up a little bit for the video and on our entryway table, which is new, and it is a shoe cabinet from Home Depot. I just have a vase that I put together of some fresh evergreens. These are from my yard and foraged. As I've been driving my neighborhood, if I see like a big pine tree, I look to see if the wind has blown any branches down. And if I see some branches in the road, I've been picking them up, literally a, like a scavenger. So I also posted in my neighborhood Facebook page if anyone would let me cut some of their fresh greens. And I had several people say yes, so that's an option as well. And uh, yeah, so that is the entryway table. I also have this scroll on my wall here. I like this, but eventually I'd like to get permanent art for here. But this works for now, and this was from Amazon. So I think we will head this way into the family room, but I do have this wreath on my closet door. I think this was from Kirkland several years ago, but I do love the bells in the inside. And this is our living room. This is probably a better angle of our space though. Just kind of give you a pan around of the room and then we'll get in close. I guess we should probably start with the main attraction, which would be the Christmas tree. And this is a new tree this year from Wayfair. Honestly, when I first put it up and when it doesn't have any ornaments on, it's super scraggly and kind of, I don't know, just not super nice I mean it does have the realistic tips on the um, ends of the, the branches but it's it just is a little bit sparse it's supposed to be one of those sparse trees but it's just not done very well honestly and it is an eight foot tree usually we do nine foot but wanted to try something different this year out of necessity by the way if you saw my first haul video then you heard the story of course, we have some dog toy fuzz in the corner. <laughs> Wouldn't be a home tour without it. But one thing I do love about this tree is how the ornaments can just kind of drip off the edges of it. And they have the space to all kind of shine. This definitely is my more stylized tree. I have a family Christmas tree in my dining room, you guys will see. But I have a super special collection of ornaments on this tree like this one that I was showing you and this one. These are all gifted to me by my husband. He's been building me a collection since we first started dating. So I love that they really get to shine on this tree. 
All right, so moving over to my TV stand. I love this. I love how it came together. These are my very special Christmas pieces, like this little, this is called a pyramid. It's spinning from the heat of the candles all around it, and it is a nativity, if you can see. And I grew up with a very traditional three-tier, four-tier one um, that was colorful when I was a kid, so I love having one that fits my style and still feels very nostalgic. And then on this side, I have my little smoker collection. These are also a German tradition. And if you aren't familiar with these guys, they burn incense inside of them. I will get one going so you can kind of see what they do. So there he goes. I just have the one going. This is my newest one. My mom gave me him for my birthday. He's a beekeeper. Uh, actually, this tall one in the back right here, he's new too. I just got him from an antique mall, but yeah, that's what they do. And I love these. I grew up with these and they're just so sweet. All right, so we do have to kind of go through the rest of the house quickly because my battery is dying. But on the sofa, we don't really have any Christmas specific pillows. I use the burgundy ones for fall and everything else can stay out year round. On the coffee table, just a big vase of some Norfolk pine stems from Kirkland's and this humongous candle from Anthropology. And then behind the couch, we do have this shelf, which we have junk stored back there too, so you probably just caught a little glimpse of that. So something easy you can do is just tie a bow onto some art that you already have. I saw this idea on a YouTube channel, I think called The Style Co. And everything else is, you know, just fairly simple and things that are easy to decorate with. All right, last place from the living room would be our fireplace. And it looks like this. I feel like this is the YouTube decorator starter pack fireplace because <laughs> everybody has the same garland, which is again, the Norfolk garland. Or I guess I haven't shown you guys this garland yet in this home tour, but it's very realistic. I get mine at Kirkland's. I get a couple each year. I've been doing that for the past few years. Um, and then the stockings, I just tied various different ribbons on just to kind of keep it a little bit unique. But yeah, that's the fireplace, guys. All right, so let's head to the kitchen. The kitchen table is very simple. Um, it's just a vase of some faux greenery because you cannot use real well, you can't put water in this vase. You could put a smaller vase inside, but I think this greenery looks really nice. If you hear my dishwasher, I apologize, but this is just from Joann's. And then I tied a little velvet ribbon on there. This is the year of tying ribbon onto everything for me. And I think everybody else is doing it too, because it just really helps to dress up an everyday item. Okay, so let's head into the rest of the kitchen. Ignore the liquor on top of my fridge. <laughs> Uh, we had a party last night, uh, and so this is my coffee station. Not much, just some ribbon and a little greenery. And something funny, one of our friends, his, he's a guy, he saw this yesterday and he's like, wow, that is so nice. I don't have anything nice in my house like that. And I was like, dude, it's fake greenery and just a little bit of ribbon. I'll come over and do that on whatever you want. <laughs> so anyways, that was really nice to hear because the goal is to decorate very simply and easy and have it look really nice. So I guess I achieved that. Okay, but let's take a look at the rest of the kitchen. So I do have this little garland situation above my sink. Like I said, I have a couple left over Norfolk pine garlands, but they would not stay up there. They were too heavy and the command hooks were just like sliding off my wall or peeling off my wall. So I just have these, this like cheapy um, Michaels garland that I got several years ago. I, I don't know. I don't even know if I like that. If I'll leave it up, you guys can let me know if you like it. And then over here, I just have this adorable candle warmer. If I can find this, I will link it for you guys because it would make such a cute Christmas present. It just kind of warms up your candle so that you don't have to actually light it. And I love that. Here's kind of a closer look at the garland. Same soap from fall, 
Nest Velvet Pear, my favorite fragrance. And then over here, I just have some orange, well, these are actually, I think, clementines, but I made pomanders out of them. And I always like to have nuts out during Christmas because my parents did. And I don't know, I guess it's just a traditional thing. On the other side of the kitchen, it's very small, so hard to decorate. I just have some burgundy dish towels out. Honestly, I use those all year round. Yes, I still have my pumpkin pot out. That also stays out year round. And this is just a silly little cardinal. My husband buys one of those every time we go into the boutique that he gets my ornaments from. And we just like have them in like little inconspicuous spots all over the house. And then over here, a nutcracker. And then I just tied some greenery and ribbon onto a couple cutting boards. So that's really it for the kitchen. All right, last stop is the dining room take you in give you an overall peek of this space which I love now if you're new here this room is a converted garage so it looks out onto our driveway ignore our cars but there's no formal dining space so that's how we choose to use this space so there's so many like things that I'd love to do in here. It has carpeting. I'd love to pull up the carpet. Our dogs have chewed on the walls. <laughs> You'll see throughout the room. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of work to be done in here, but it is probably my favorite room now. Let me just get started over here. So we have this electric fireplace. Odd spot for a fireplace with a window right above it, but it's actually a heater too. So I like to have that in there and there's really no other spot for it. And those are the extra Kirkland's garlands. I just put them there. I have my blanket ladder and my vintage bells from my friend Irma on there. Uh, and then from here, we do have this shelf. This actually just holds our dog food in the bottom of it, but I get to store things in the top or decorate it. So that's really nice. I just kind of decorated with things that I already had, Christmas decor that didn't make it into the living room and that kind of thing. Uh, but these are new. I hauled these beautiful little glasses from Anthropology. There's the snowman and the Santa. Super cute. I love those. Okay, my phone is yelling at me that I have no battery left, so we're going to have to keep this moving. No centerpiece on the table because I wanted to put garland around this uh, chandelier, which is actually battery operated. This is an outdoor chandelier from Big Lots, but the uh, beam here is solid wood, so we can't put electrical in it. And then for our buffet, I did get two new lamps to put on either side because this wall is super big and blank, and I feel like they help fill it in because I don't want to put artwork up in here. I just, I don't know, at least not now. So I love those from Target. And then I hung some ribbons off my antique mirror here, and then I layered in a smaller faux antique mirror from Hobby Lobby. And you can kind of see the wiring. That's how I put it on there. I need to tuck that back, but I didn't realize that that was showing. And then just a nice big vase of some faux greenery. The vase is from Target and the greenery is from Hobby Lobby. Now for the main attraction of the room, our family Christmas tree. First, I wanted to point out our um, curtains are new and they are from Amazon and I love the plaid detailing. I feel like it just, I don't know, it just really makes the room in my opinion. This is a King of Christmas tree. They gifted it to me, I think like in 2019, but I love it. Um, it's the only tree that's really stood the test of time in our house because we have switched out quite a few. And all of our family ornaments are on here, so like ones that we've DIY'd, ones that have been gifted to us, ones we've collected through traveling and all that stuff. Um, however, I did want it to feel a little bit more stylized. Last year it was super vintage and it was loaded with ornaments. So I didn't put every last vintage ornament on it. And I did put these brown plastic ones that I just got, I think from Hobby Lobby all over the tree just to tie in the brown that you see throughout my house. And you guys know about my cardinals. If you're new here, I love cardinals. So I have them all over the tree as well. And it just is such a special tree, I feel like. 
it evokes that Christmas nostalgia and I love it. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. I found this little Scotty ornament while I was out antiquing with my mom. I found him at an antique mall and I just had to have him. I also wanted to point out a few of my favorites that have been gifted to us, like this one. Um, my mom gave me all these vintage, I don't know if they're actually vintage, but cookie cutters that went on my tree and she did the same thing this year. This is one that my friend Irma sent to me like forever ago. I have two of them. They're still on my tree, even though they're so delicate. What else? <laughs> my friend, I got this in Secret Santa last night. I actually got a set of six of these, but I gave them to everybody else and I just kept one. Um, so yeah, just a lot of really fun stuff on this tree. Tons of memories. I love it. So that is my Christmas home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I decorate for the holidays. I'm wishing you the merriest Christmas, a happy new year, and I will catch you in a future video. Bye now.